Hello everyone, this is Maddie, and welcome back to my channel. But if you're new, welcome to my channel. We're gonna do a different intro, bro. That's just not gonna cut it. That's the same fucking intro you do every time. Hello, my name is Maddie, um, and welcome back to my channel. Before we get into everything, make sure to like, comment, subscribe turn on notifications it would be a big freaking help and then also make sure to follow my two instagrams my beauty one which is modified makeup by mad my personal one which is madeline mcbride underscore and then also what what i have merch now guys so you should totally look at it in the description below i worked really hard on it if you want to at me wearing my new merch you will be posted on a story highlight on my instagram Okay, that's it. It's almost 4 a.m. Um, and I thought it was a good time to record um, this video because, I don't know, it was on my mind. And you know, I was sitting there and I need lip balm. Oh my god, bro. These are my gamer goggles. No, bro, these are um, those glasses for uh, the tint blue light. I can't wear these when I'm recording. <laughs> One second, I have to turn off the heat. Oh my gosh, I need to get this video started, bro. I keep getting sidetracked at four in the morning out of all the times to get sidetracked. The heat started going on, the furnace, and I figured none of you guys would wanna hear that. I'm making this video because I um, really talk about in all my ear stretching videos, like my different tips and stuff, but I feel like it would just be easier. One second, bro, I'm out of breath. I'm going up and down the steps. I wanted to make this because I always reference different tips I have when stretching ears, but I've never made a full video for it. Um, and just, you know, have it out there to reference people to it, um, if need be. And I'm just gonna kind of talk about, you know, what I personally think, because this is all my opinion, because, you know, not everyone's gonna agree with it, that's fine. But this is what I think what you should do to have nice, happy, healthy earlobes. So I have a notes thing on my phone because I can't think straight clearly. Um, so we're, I'm going to be referencing this. If you see me looking at it, that's why. So first, the first segment of this video is how to stretch. I'm pretty sure you guys are going to know what you're doing pretty much, but this is just going to be my best practice or what I think is the best practice and how to do it and how to make sure your ears don't get screwed up. I only recommend using tapers only to double zero. And I know a lot of people probably wouldn't agree with that and whatever. I personally think that might even be too big. I only stretched with tapers until two gauge. Is that what I wrote down? Two gauge. Like they're easier for small sizes, yes. Um, but when you start getting to the bigger sizes, I mean, basically what tapers are doing is just kind of like, it's like forcing it to stretch. It's not letting it happen naturally. And that's kind of not really good. Tapers, m like all, like, stop at double zero okay after that uh i do dead stretching and taping um i'm gonna make a video on taping here soon because i figured out finally how to tape dead stretching is just wearing heavy glass plugs or using ptfe and bondage tape and just letting them loosen up naturally it takes a while but you're here to make sure your ears are healthy and it won't take that long if you use in between sizes which i highly highly recommend so yeah in between sizes definitely makes it a lot easier for the big jumps materials to use when stretching please for the love of god do not use silicone or acrylic to stretch your ears i had this person swipe up on my story a couple days ago and they told me they were taking bro listen to this silicone tunnels and pop them like don't put silicone tunnels in your ear and just let them pop to the next biggest size that is scary and terrible um one it's just really bad for your ear and two silicone and also acrylic are pretty porous and it's not really good for letting your ears heal i would not recommend doing that please don't do that yeah okay so that um please just use like stainless steel or glass plugs. Okay, so you guys, I've gotten a lot of questions about this and a lot of people wondering what my personal rule of thumb is. When do I think I'm ready to stretch? I only stretch when my ears are ready, which means I try once a week. Um, I obviously don't do it if it hurts. It should never hurt. Oh my gosh, like whenever I see people shoving, shoving things into their 
ears when it's like they're like oh my god it hurts so I want to get it through like that stresses me out and please do not do that your ears are not ready if need be sweetheart just fucking tape your ears do not shove something in your ear um so yeah I try to put it in once a week and then once it hits like the two or three week mark and if I'm still in the same size I'll start taping my ears that's kind of when I stretch I really honestly have no idea how long I waited in between stretches so I wouldn't be the best person to ask um, because I don't keep track of that. It's just whenever it wants to go through my stinky load, girl. You feel me? Damn. Stuff I recommend for stretching is only the stuff that I've used, which is vitamin E oil and jojoba oil. But I'm sure there's other good things, but that's what I really recommend to lubricate your lobe. So this is like when your ears are healing or you're like... In the process of stretching your ears, how do I take care of my lobes, which is where I'm at right now. I'm obviously not at my goal size. Um, every day, I rinse them with water and wash them with antibacterial soap. I don't like scrub it. I just kind of massage it to get all the dead skin out of there. Um, I try not to make it too sudsy or crazy because I don't want to dry out my ears either. Never use alcohol or peroxide when cleaning your ears. It's way too much for your ears. Um, and then I massage with oil one time a day. Um, for about five minutes, I just sit there rubbing them, massaging them, making them feel good, you know. And it really makes them easier to stretch too is when you massage them daily. It's also better to do that after a shower because, you know, you got all like steamy and shit. You got some steamy lobes. Never leave wood, silicone, or acrylic in when you're in the process of stretching, not just like while you're physically stretching your ears. Um, leave that kind of stuff for when you're fully healed and you're done stretching because especially wood, like that stuff will fuse to your skin. So like hold up on that for a little bit. Also, I'm going to talk about like damage control, you know, like, uh-oh, I screwed up. What do I do? Okay, so I... Personally, I've never had a blowout. Um, I have had a tear before. That was before I was on YouTube. Um, I forget which size I was going to. I think that was 8 gauge, 6 to 8 gauge. Uh, what I did when that happens and what you should do too is first downsize, um, however, until it feels comfortable. Um, one to two sizes probably just downsize and get that big size out of there because like obviously if it tore It's not gonna heal if you still got the chonky piece of shit in your ear, you know So like take that out put in the small one again. Oh, I know it sucks. You're like, oh, I just made it Well, your ears bleeding girl and you got to take it out I'm sorry. Um clean your ears twice a day with saline solution um, and Antibacterial soap make sure she's doing all good got something on my nose bro um and don't use oil until the actual cut is like closed up because that's not really good to get straight oil inside a cut blowouts i don't know it's probably that but like times 10 everything i said instead of downsizing just go all the way back to like 18 gauge girl <laughs> you gotta start over it's it's over man so the last thing i kind of wanted to cover if like you're going to bed because this personally was a huge problem for me <laughs> and this is also what made my tear worse so i really want to cover this so when i tore my ear i didn't know i had it torn and then i went to bed and i was smothering that shit all over my fucking nasty ass pillowcase bro and I remember I was thinking like damn this hurts but like whatever and it made my ear look so gross and I don't even want to say how gross it was and it was like smashed up behind my head and like touching like my neck and I had stuff in my neck and it was gross what I do for sleeping I have this little thing <laughs> it's called the perfectly pierced pillow um this is actually made from one of my friends i go to school with because i'm a business major so i know a lot of other business majors who have businesses um and this is my friend kat she made the perfectly pierced pillows which have holes in it and luckily for me she started making these um she started making a bunch of prototypes right when I started stretching my ears a couple months ago. Um, so I messaged her, she gave me one of the prototypes and I've used it every night because here's the thing, right? When you're sleeping with plugs and you're in mid stretch, you can't wear silicone tunnels, one, because you're still in the process of stretching your ears. You have to wait a couple of months and let them fully heal before you can wear silicone tunnels to bed. 
Um, and also you can't take them out because they're just going to shrink. So when you're stretching your ears, you kind of have to leave either big glass plugs in, big stainless steel ones in. It's kind of not comfortable. Um, so I use this every night. It's really nice because once you start getting pretty big, man, that stuff is smashing against like your jaw and your neck. And it has a little hole for your ear. Um, what's really nice about this one versus like other brands we have seen is it has this cover that you can remove to wash it because, you know, you gotta be clean with your ears. You don't want to be using the same thing all the time. And other pillows you can wash, but then it takes forever for them to dry because you have to put the whole pillow in there. So this one, you just take the cover off and wash it. But I also really like to support smaller businesses, especially ones that just started. She just opened her official shop a couple days ago and she got me a fresh new one that has like, you know, all the branding on it and stuff. This is a Heaven sent for your ears when you're sleeping. I've always stood by it. I've always loved the idea. I know she also has like three, she has like a collection of three different types. Um, she has some, that's her collection, cat's collection. She has a kid's collection, um, which are kind of smaller. And then also she has like a kind of satin collection. It has this soft type of pillowcase, so it doesn't like mess with your hair if your hair is very sensitive to pillowcases. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give her like a quick plug too because like she's really helped with the healing of my ears because my ears always get whack if I sleep without that. Um, so hers is perfectly pierced underscore shop on Instagram and also her website is perfectlypierced.com. I'll put it right here. I'll put it right here. I'll put it in the description. Really check out the pillows. They're great. They're amazing. Highly recommend for your earlobes, for any ear piercing, but especially for when you're stretching your ears and you got big rocks in your ears. But I believe that is it. I feel like I covered kind of all the bases. I wanted to really talk about what to use, um, how long I wait between stretches, my whole method of me waiting between stretches. I will make a whole other video about taping um, and how I tape my ears. Guys, make sure to check out my merch, bro. It's all new. Look, it's me. It's me on the back, G. I don't know if you can see it. Anyways, check out my merch, please. I've worked really hard on it for you guys because I love you. Um, and I'll see you next Thursday with another video. It's gonna be a good one. Bye!